welcome back my name is Parish in this video we will see uh, if any user want uh, permission those only uh, can see the agent jobs so and how, how we can take care of it so how to grant permissions to see only SQL agent chops. Okay, let's do this. Let's open SQL Server. Screen up the screen mode. First of all, we'll create one user with public access, means he can't user cannot cannot see I sorry type of mistake cannot see any jobs second step will grant the required permissions then third step will verify it the second will yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Uh, sorry. Let's log in with sysadmin. Means my account is the sysadmin account. Okay. So we don't have sufficient job, I think. Okay. These are enough. Let's create one user. SQL user jobs mm. viewer username is jobs viewer he can be the job on jobs on the okay okay the simple user has been created by default public access should be there okay so you can connect to the Yes, for the database. Here. So let's connect with that user. Jobs. Okay. Now, if you see, okay, we cannot see SQL Server agent log. If you logged in with this my account, it has a full permission. You can see the SQL agent, but this account can't see the SQL agent. So we need to grant this uh, jobs uh, jobs permission to the um, this user. So we just want read on the access. We don't want uh, that user should modify the schedule or anything else. We just want he can see the jobs. Is it successful or not? He can verify the logs. That's it. So let's do that. So the next step is we have done with first step. Second step will grant the required permissions. So before that. I'll show you something. We need to grant permission on MSDB database. Okay, to this user. So if you see, there are a number of database roles. Okay, for MSDB database, you can't see for uh, for this any other database apart from distribution. Okay, so we'll talk about later on uh, in any other video about distribution database and application is uh, role. <coughs> Sorry, uh, that MSDB database has few other rules. Like if you concentrate on these three: SQL Server Agent Operator, SQL Server Agent Reader, and SQL Server.
agent user role so what are these three roles okay first of all i would like to explain you okay let's go with sql server agent user role sql server agent user roles mean the owner of this job okay means um i am logged in with a job ur if any any user uh, uh, owner of this job has a job ur account he can uh, control that job and he uh, control he can uh, modify and anything do with those respective jobs only okay for reader so what agent reader role uh, agent if we grant this role on this account then he can control his own job as well as he can view the other jobs as well and sql server opt role he can control all the jobs from sql server agent okay so the, as i said we just want to read, read access to the all the um, all the jobs then we need to grant sql server agent reader role so he can the uh, viewer can um, view the any any user so i will i demonstrate with all the three accounts okay first we will go with sql server agent user role let's grant the sql server agent role uh, agent user role okay just cross verify it okay, i have granted sql server agent user role so what it means he can modify his own jobs but he can't now you can see the agents but he can't see anything because there is no any job okay which has owner job viewer so from this account i'll create a one test job test job with the account the owner of this job is job viewer steps i'll add one step one run as process select one nothing you can add anything okay now the owner of this job is uh, test job is job viewer so if you see sql agent user role okay so we are concentrating on this sql agent if you see now we have granted this role on msdb database to user job viewer so he now he has he can see his own job okay okay those are and he can modify it if you want he can implement a schedule whatever he wants step 1 and to stay whatever okay he can if he wants to execute he can execute but he can execute only his own job he can't touch to any other job even he can't say that's it uh there could not find a store procedure select one ah uh, that's fine I, I forgot to place a space in between that. So let's see. We have modified this job, right? Means I mean job viewer account has modified this job. So now next role is SQL Server Agent Reader role. SQL Agent, agent reader role. Agent reader role. Okay. Now let's demonstrate this. Let's run this. Now see what's the change. What are the changes? Uh, if you see, you can see the all the jobs. Okay. but only this he can modify and execute okay but he can't modify any anything any other job or execute Let's see he wanted to 
view view his history. Yeah, I mean it's history. Then he can view the any any job history, but he can't execute it. So why start failed? Only owner of the job of a member of rules is admin of signals can start the job. Okay, because we have limited access to this role. Now, let's go for another last role. SQL agent operator role. Probs verify if it applied or not. Yeah. Now he can modify or execute any any other job. You see, earlier we were not able to ex execute this job. So. Okay, I'll I'll show you. So as of now, just remember this: if you want to grant any permission to any other user, you can only view the logs. Then make sure you have granted agent agent trader rule. for watching this video just do like and subscribe for more videos my youtube channel ms equal learning parish kudaykar